This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, all three major indices finished lower. The S&P 500 fell slightly, and both the Dow and the tech-heavy NASDAQ fell over 1%. Despite the breather for the major indices, other parts of the market picked up the slack, with value stocks, REITs, and international stocks all rising more than 1%. The February jobs report on Friday offered some conflicting signals as to when it will be safe for the Federal Reserve to start cutting interest rates. On the one hand, the 275,000 jobs added came in higher than expected, while the unemployment rate unexpectedly rose to 3.9% and wage growth was lower than predicted. Earlier in the week, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell, in remarks to the Senate Banking Committee, didn't provide a precise timetable on what he sees easing happening, but noted that the day could be coming soon. The bond market interpreted that to mean the Fed will be cutting sooner than later, and bond prices rallied as yields fell across the board. The 10-year Treasury bond yield finished the week just above 4%, a five-week low. A major reason why bonds, interest rate-sensitive stocks like real estate investment trusts, and value stocks outperformed for the week. The economy isn't showing any signs of a slowdown and economists continue to underestimate its strength in spite of the fact that the U.S. real gross domestic product grew by 2.5% in 2023 and is on track to grow another 2.1% this year. A good economy is good for corporate earnings, and corporate earnings are at a record high. As economist Larry Kudlow reminds us frequently, profits are the mother's milk of stocks, and for that matter, business and the entire economy. Therefore, as long as corporate profits continue to increase, the bull market rally should continue. Many on Wall Street are now calling or hoping for a pullback or a correction of the current rally so they can get invested. But in my experience, bull markets rarely let the uninvested in. Unfortunately, many investors don't invest for bull markets. They chase bull markets. There's $6 trillion dollars still sitting on the sidelines in cash and money market equivalents, enjoying a 5% yield, a yield that will drop when the Fed starts to cut. In the words of famous 70s rock band The Clash, one question on the minds of the money market investors is, will I stay or will I go? My guess is FOMO. The fear of missing out will be their answer. Speaking as someone whose firm's clients are fully invested, I say, let the chase begin.